welcome to Oxbow Meadows at Columbus State University. My name is Miss Ashley, and today we're gonna to explore erosion. I want you to pay close attention to how the water affects the sand as it travels through the table. See what you can notice about the speed and about the slope. Let's explore and see what we can notice. Hey everybody, so this is Dr. Mike and I'm from Oxbow Meadows with Miss Ashley and she just showed you an example, an experiment using two different models. They're models of what maybe a river might look like flowing down a hill and there was sand in the models and she put the same amount of water into each one. One was higher than the other, one was elevated a little bit higher than the other. What did you notice? What did you observe? And why do you think one had a little bit more sand at the bottom and had more erosion than the other. Why don't you take a minute and talk with your teacher? We'll be right back. So what we're gonna do now is look at what we call a topographic map, which is a fancy word for a map that shows what we're gonna call elevations. So let's take a look. So the first thing we need to figure out or need to consider is just what is an elevation? Kind of a fancy word for how high something is above something else or a relationship to something else. So here we have a mountain coming out of the sea and it has a elevation of zero feet at the sea level and 10,000 feet at the top of the mountain. So we say that the elevation of the top of the mountain is at 10,000 feet. So let's use that as we go into topographic maps. All right, so let's look at what a topographic map really looks like. It kind of looks like this with a bunch of squiggly lines all over the place. As we zoom in a little closer, you're able to see that there are darker lines and lighter lines. Each one of those lines represents an elevation, a height above some other point. And if we go a little closer, you can see that there's this series of lines around a creek. And you have basically a dark line at 300 feet and then a, another dark line at 250 feet. That means there's 50 feet between those two lines in that area. So that gives you an idea of how steep the area is when you look at the comparison between those lines and those numbers. So if you look at it kind of in a cross-section view, you'd have this. You would show that the bottom picture shows the map that you see, and if you were to make a 3D map of it, it would be what you see on the top. So now let's look at one more thing. Let's look at how close the lines are together. You see how close they are here? That means it's very, very steep. When the lines are further apart, like we have over here, it means the land is not as steep. It's a more gentle slope. So we can look at that and use these to figure out how water might move. Looking at it one other way, you've got the combination of the two maps. On the top, you have a very steep slope and you see how those lines are closer together. 
and on the other side you have a gentler slope. It's still a slope, but you see the lines are farther apart. There are fewer lines on the drawing on the right than the one on the left. Okay, so now that you understand a little bit about a topographic map, and you know that when the lines are close together, you have a steep slope. When the lines are farther apart, you have a more gentle slope. I'm going to show you another map, and I'm going to show you two points, and I want you to try to figure out, using all the information we've uh, learned in this little video, where you think erosion is going to be the biggest problem. I've got two points, point A and point B. So I want you to make a determination. I want you to use your evidence to try to figure out where erosion is going to be the biggest problem. Let's take a look. So here we're zooming in on a place and I'm going to put an X where the water or the rain is going to fall and then two other points, point A and point B, on both sides of the hill. You can see 600 feet and you see 550 feet so you can kind of tell what each line means. 600 feet is the highest. Which point is going to have more erosion, point A or point B and why? That's all for now. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.